So, I was looking through the comments of my last video, and a lot of people seemed to like my idea for a Soviet Union game, but mm, that's not what we're doing today. I do think my next video will probably be that weird Soviet monarchy, just because so many people seemed to really like that idea. But I saw one other comment that really caught my eye. According to this comment, the hardest kingdom to form in Crusader Kings 3 is the Kingdom of Bosnia. Now, when I saw that, it really caught my eye because I didn't even realize that the Kingdom of Bosnia is in the fucking game. And when I went to go look it up, someone explained that the Kingdom of Bosnia is, and I quote, by far the most worthless and tedious title you can form, and the rewards are not worth it. There's this incredibly funny several paragraph long post about every reason why the Kingdom of Bosnia is such a terrible kingdom in this game. Among those reasons is the fact that apparently it's easier to form your own kingdom than to form Bosnia, and if you were to take a screenshot of your Kingdom of Bosnia, nobody could ever really know if you actually formed Bosnia or if you just recolored it and changed the flag. So I suppose I was drawn to this challenge like a fly to rotting meat. Because it sounds like a challenge that's going to make me want to rip my fucking toenails off. And that's always the best kind of challenge. The kind of challenge where the reaction to the pain of trying to do what you're trying to do in that game. The reaction from the challenge is so visceral that it makes you want to just stop playing the game. That's always the best kind of challenge. Now, to give you an idea of how absolutely mind-numbingly under my radar this was. I didn't know the Bosnian culture was in the game. I didn't know that the kingdom was in the game. I didn't even know that there was a duchy of Upper Bosnia and Lower Bosnia. I didn't know any of this. So I went in. I made my custom character, Vladislav Soklovic. I don't know what that name really means, but uh, it sounds sounds Bosnian. I made him impatient, ambitious, wrathful. He's got rough terrain expert, which is amazing, because as you can see in this region, it's literally all mountains, except for the parts that are hills. So we're going to be doing pretty good, I think. I do often have a problem where I will make a character... And I'll make them 18. Um, because I want to see what they're going to look like when they become an adult. And then I forget to make them 16, which is like the the age that someone's an adult in the game. Um, and then I just completely forget. So two less years off our life, but that's fine. I also decided to make my character start as a uh, Christiani, I'm pretty sure. Christiani, um, which is like a a, a, a Balkan uh, version of Christianity. It also is just like a religion that retains like a bunch of the really old, archaic versions of things in Christianity. And you never really see this religion get big in the game. So I figured this might be a fun a fun task for me. And right now we are a vassal under Duke Mutimir Vlastimiric. He's not the same religion as us, so we're going to be trying to break away from him, form the Kingdom of Bosnia. And I realized in looking to found the Kingdom of Bosnia, which look at this, this is these are the requirements. So you have to own three duchies, which is the same requirements to form your own kingdom. Um, and you need 300 gold and 200 prestige. Um, I, I don't know if they... I think they changed the requirements to this and made it easier. Um, but you do still have to reach the early medieval era with the Bosnian culture. I'm guessing you can't make a hybrid culture and do that. And you do have to be independent. So we're going to be stuck in this land between giants, which honestly is one of my favorite regions in the map. Because you have all these different duchies that are fighting for the right to survive, basically. Stuck between Bulgaria, the Byzantines, Italy, East Francia, 
and eventually the, the Mogiers come in and you have to deal with Hungary too. So trying to like scrape out your independence in this region is a very, very fun challenge that I absolutely enjoy. And actually, I'm probably going to play in this region again at some point because I have an idea of bringing back Roman Illyria at some point. And I look forward to that challenge. But for now, it's time for Bosnia to rise. But as you can see, we are the, the Marshal Chad. We're kind of bad at um, everything but war. I'm kind of honestly thinking we're going to go Authority. Because having higher control in this region means we get levies faster. A man's home makes it so we can defend our territory easier. Um, armies will cost less money. Absolute control will just give us a bunch of benefits. I think that Overseer might genuinely just be the best thing we can go for. Ooh. Hail and Intelligent? That's... Rare as fuck. Yeah. Fucking them up. Boom, there we go. It's a little ridiculous that, like, you have to actually siege down your liege when you're in a war like this. Otherwise, you you start losing. I've always thought that was just purely the most stupid thing ever. We're beating him again. Because I'm just the better general. He keeps sending me a proposal to teach my kid, too, which is like, dude... I am at war with you. I'm not gonna give you my my son. Like, why would I ever do that? Yeah, basically, if, if you have less men than your liege and they revoke your title and your martial focus, I, I don't think you should worry too much. Um, it can be the end of your run, sure. But typically, in my experience, you will have a chance to actually beat them. If not beat them, then turn it into a white piece and we win and I'm gonna press my demands against my liege I think okay war it is how many times do we have to teach you this lesson old man and we win this is the only thing that's kind of annoying to me is just that I'm over my limit, so I'm making less money than I could. And I can't give off my land, because I don't have a duchy, and I just killed a bunch of people. Oh, fuck. That was, that was a guy... One of the guys I just killed was a guy I spent 50 gold to buy. Like, I hired him. I didn't hire him through this, but... I had an event where I gave him 50 gold. I just killed his ass. I didn't even read the event. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. Peasant Revolt... See, peasant revolts in this game are kind of just sad. They always lose, and, I mean, it's kind of expected, I guess. But whenever I see a peasant revolt, what I see is an opportunity to just get another knight. Or, like, a good marshal. Because, like, look at this. This is the guy that just fought against me. I'm making him my marshal now. Ooh, this sun is hale and quick. Very good. You'll be a soldier. Man, I really would like some kind of a, a, a get-rich-quick scheme for my kingdom right now. I guess we're not even a kingdom. No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! Wait, 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 wait! I have migraines? Okay. For a second there, I thought my character was going to have a straight-up fucking aneurysm. Give me your fucking money. I've been staring at this event for a hot second here. Trying to figure out how things are going to go. I know my sons are going to be splitting up the land if I die. I am probably going to die, since it's a 50-50. Dead. Died from... Fatal apoplexy, which is... I don't know what that means. Let's find out what that means. Cerebral hemorrhage or stroke. Yikes. But we now have Miroslav Vladislavic. He's actually pretty damn good. I think he might end up better than his father. I only just noticed that our design for our coat of arms still had the, the base little... <laughs> 
uh, symbol on it. I've removed it. <laughs> I don't. I'm, I'm betting someone was probably going crazy looking at that. But here's my brother. My brother has less men than me. So I'm going to just steadily consume him. Ooh, we caught my brother. And we're now the Duke of Upper Bosnia. And we're not allowed to form a kingdom until we form Bosnia. Which I can still do, right? Just gotta check. Yep, I still can. Should I even swing the scales of power? I probably should. We're gonna leverage piety against our mother. That's right, mother. I am holier than thou. That man has had an insane story. He went from a peasant to a rebel, and now he is my most loyal vassal. Oof. I'm gonna fabricate a claim on Zavrij, I think is what this was called. Yes. Yeah. Zavrzchik. As you can tell, I don't really. I, I don't know how to pronounce these words. I'm a lot better with pronouncing Old Norse words. Going to war again. This time I will lead my men. Like my father before me. We've got the war target, so now we just need to make sure we hold that and we beat them in fights. Oh, they were winning that for a second. I didn't like that. That was scary. Oh, I forgot I could just murder my brother. Let's just do that. Into battle we go. Easy dub. Hmm, we actually caught their leader. 91 gold is really rough to pass up for our little kingdom, so I'm actually going to take that. Oh, and we win anyway. And my brother's dead. I've inherited his lands. Got a holy thorn. It's a thorn from Jesus' crown. I feel like if it's brown rarity, that means it's not actually a, uh, a real artifact. I think I just bought a thorn some guy put in a box. Holy shit, this gives me 20 prowess for a year? What the fuck? Who are they at war with? And why? Wait, Italy wants this? Okay, that's a little bullshit. I said, I'm getting my allies. That's right, Buster. I've got buddies, and they're bigger than you. Here come the French. Always the French. Every game that I play, it's always the fucking French that are my friends for some reason. I don't know why. Yes. Mine. Okay. Another county down. I almost kind of want to find a new wife that has really high learning. Uh, yeah, we're going to do that. It's going to cost us piety. But, ooh, and she's beautiful, too. Oh, my. Or, I, maybe not beautiful. Wait, pretty. Yeah, she's pretty. Yeah, see, now our learning's 18. That's going to make it so that we learn things faster. Um, and... It, Basically, we just need to rush through all of these and get to the early medieval era. Which is a headache, but I came into this challenge expecting a lot more of a challenge. So, I don't think this is too big a deal. But here we go to get our last bit of Upper Bosnia. Ransom? Oh, no, you actually don't really have much money. Not worth it to ransom her. So, we own all of Upper Bosnia, all of Zaklumia, and we just need Lower Bosnia now. Which is two counties up north. 
in Slavonia, which has ugh, two big allies, um, including Great Moravia. Damn. Who knew? Sure, we'll go with Comfort Eater. I've never had a mental break like this to where it's three different options. We'll be a Comfort Eater, sure. That's kind of how I am in real life, bro. I mean, you you get me stressed out. If I if I get me a, a burger or uh, you know, you just get me some chips or something, I'm gonna be good. Dubrovnik is considered a duchy. It's a duchy with one county. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take you, Miroslav. With a uh, with, with onagers is a fucking menace. I really hope my character doesn't have a fucking cerebral hemorrhage like his dad did. That was certainly something. Also, I guarantee you someone's gonna say that this was like a clickbait title or something, or that there's a harder kingdom to form. If there's a harder kingdom to form, put the name of it in the comments, because I will try to form it. <laughs> this is fun for me. Like, I... I don't... A challenge like this is fun to me, even though it just... I feel like someone else would be sitting here and it would be just mind-numbingly boring to them. If you think that there is a harder kingdom to form than Bosnia, I will go fucking form it. Just put the name in the in the comments. I am so down for that. Hmm. Anytime people give me ideas for videos, I love it. Because it's, it's an interaction with you guys, and it gives me ideas for videos that I would just not think of on my own. <laughs> Miroslav Longshanks. I have never seen the nickname Longshanks. You are athletic and muscular and are often found working out. So I'm, I'm Longshanks. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm getting a fertility treatment? I find that funny. I'm having nothing but daughters, so this guy is giving me a treatment so that I, um, I can have a son. Come help me fight Slavonia. Although I think we would probably win this without them anyway. Honestly, this has been one of my most fun playthroughs in a while. Even though I'm not really doing much. It's just... I enjoy this kind of shit. Like... It's just fun to me. Let me point out one of the reasons that this kingdom is annoying. See all this land I've got? This isn't even all the required land for Bosnia. And... Once I get all the required land for Bosnia... I'm going to have enough land that I could just form Croatia. And if I was to form Croatia, I would have my kingdom title really early compared to forming Bosnia, which requires me to wait until... Oh, wait, we've entered the early early medieval era. Yeah, we've entered the early medieval era. Damn. I'm infirm. At the age of 51... And boom, we finished our... Alrighty, had to... I had to AFK for a second there. We got some Subway. Got a nice uh, turkey and, and bacon sub. Real nice. I know some people don't like Subway. I really like Subway. I usually prefer, like, burgers, but... Subway can be really good sometimes. And it's like, yeah, it's a sandwich, <laughs> but it's a sandwich I didn't have to make, okay? <laughs> Why do we suddenly have, like, no troops? This is really weird to me. Okay, now, now our army's back. Weird. I had to, like, despawn my army in order to get, back, get it back. I guess we're just gonna let them raid us. Because... Fuck me, that's why. <laughs> okay, we've got lower Bosnia now. 
We're so close. We just need 300 gold. Stop raiding me, you motherfucker. Yeah, that's right. I've actually got my army this time. Give me my money back. No! You monster! Oh. Fucking hell, man. I don't even got time to eat my subway because of you. Some of you guys have seen the video, but if you haven't, that's like understandable. But there's a there's a video now of Gordon Ramsay making a a fucking grilled cheese sandwich. And he makes it out of like two pieces of bread that are like harder than wood and a fucking like a, like a hard cheese that's like almost like a brie looking cheese like it has a rind and it doesn't even fucking melt it, it, in the whole video he's like doing this really weird like oh, this creepy whisper like this like oh lovely fucking amazing I, I made him very Australian but <laughs> um yeah it's a funny ass video you should watch it if you haven't seen it it's Gordon Ramsay doesn't know how to make a, a grilled cheese to save his life I think I misspoke about the sub like if you if you know about the, um, there's, like, the Taco Bell burrito meme of, like, the guy that, uh, gets a burrito that has just layers. I'll probably post a picture just so you understand what I'm talking about. This, this sandwich feels like that, but, like, sideways. Like, I have to bite into fucking cheese land over here, and then you've got Baconville over there, and then the turkey in the middle. Like, it still tastes fine, it's just tedious to eat. <laughs> Speaking of subs, you should subscribe, if you haven't already. If you have, then ignore my dumb ass. Oh, here we go. Form the Kingdom of Bosnia. Lord of all Bosnia. Oh. Oh, they give, they do give you a thing. Mountainous Bosnia has, for centuries, been tossed between every warring power in the Balkans. Fellow Slavs from the north and south, the Carpathian horse lords of the moment, emperors from Bulgaria or Constantinople, even the merchant princes of the Adriatic. From today, no more. With my coronation, Bosnia is a kingdom all of its own, and strength and glory awaits. I can get fame, devotion, or lose stress. We'll get fame. 350 fame is pretty nice. And there we go. I didn't expect it to be green. Or I guess like turquoise. What I, the hell is even it's kind that? of a yucky color. What? Why is it that color? I was expecting like a yellow, to be honest. Not a... I don't know. That's just kind of gross to me. But we did it. We formed Bosnia. And if we look on the de jure map, Bosnia is its own de jure kingdom now. I don't like that Croatia still has that. But, yeah, I, this was a fun video for me. I don't know if, if, if you thought this was boring, I, I kind of get it. Um, I'm honestly down to continue with this dynasty. This was a really fun run. Um, if you want to see me, like, unite the Slavs, like the South Slavs, I would gladly do that. That sounds like a really fun challenge. If you have any other ideas for challenges, go ahead and comment them down below. And other than that, like, subscribe, um, share this video with a friend, and uh, yeah, peace.